Will that kid ever have the option of taking up the fourth year? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I do have one more question. How does the field of journalism differ from the field of mass comm? Well, <laughs> it's, a, it's a subset of it. So, mass communication. Communication is essentially expressing yourself, right? In what form and manner is how it divides further. So when we learned, we learned print, television, radio, all the three forms. You'd be surprised I have done my internship because during my postgrad days in journalism, when we were taught, I never thought I'd be a journalist because for me, I was like, coming from the philosophy of you have to be best, I was told that I at least, I assume that if I do not become Kushman Singh, I'll never be good enough. So forget it, I focused on doing my internship in public relations. I did internship in four companies and one of the companies was Jyoti Limited. <laughs> and so that's why I was so glad to come back and give it back to your family. And so it doesn't, so it, communication is more of expression. Now whether this course can lead you to getting in public relations, could be able to get you into print, television, Digital, I don't know what all, advertising, which is covered forever. It's a form of expression. Where your career takes shape is what you learn through and what you enjoy. In our case, we just had an opportunity to do it for one year and then had to decide. Here, at least you have three years to do the self discovery to understand do I enjoy public relations more or do I enjoy writing more or you know, doing television more. At least there's a three-year progress, of, uh, three-year space for self-discovery, which is which is good because I wasted my three years in BSc. I shouldn't have done that. I mean, of this course, I would have done that. So what constitutes is a form of mass communication? Okay. This microphone is a mass communication. Through this, I'm able to speak to hundred people together. Right? This is a tool that I'm using to communicate the mass. So any form of expression, television communicates to the mass, newspaper communicates to the mass, Twitter communicates to the mass. All of these are expressions and ways to communicate to the mass. That's that's more expression. The course contents which I've gone through, like what the NUV is offering, they uh, isn't it more journalism uh, oriented? That is what I got the idea. I'm not from that field basically, so I'm not very much clear about that. I have uh, actually uh, gone through the courses which are offered by so many uh, colleges in uh, Mumbai uh, under the name of uh, BNM courses, Bachelors in Mass Media. So I have a confusion here. In, in this course, the course is being offered in Mumbai. One way is the uh, program coordinator, so let her answer first and then take it up. Understanding the concern that is expressed that the program curriculum focuses more on journalism and less on and less on mass communication. Apparently it may appear so, but it is not like that. Because if you see the first year curriculum where the foundational courses are offered, there is an equal weightage given to introduction to mass communication as well as journalism. Now, as the students move to the next semesters, again the tools that are required of journalism as well as mass communication, especially in public relations and advertising, have been equally emphasized. Now, after the second year, the students are placed in a position to make a choice whether they want to move towards mass communication or move towards journalism. So that weightage has been divided in such a way that a student can choose to, to take any particular path. And that care we have taken because as we were designing and the degree has been appropriately titled Journalism and Mass Communication, we cannot afford to have a very sharp focus on either of them. That care is taken. Thank you. Uh, to uh, further what one has just said uh, and to address your question. See, as Nicole said, that mass communication, communication is the larger set and journalism is the subset of it. The course that you have gone through and if you have gone through alone and if you have not been able to, uh, and somebody has not been able to explain to you, I am sorry about that, but we can have a little discussion about it later on. But the course as such as it has been designed is not only that it has, it, it, it's very heavy on journalism, but it also introduces the student to each and every form of other tools uh, of mass communication, which is advertising, public relations, radio, 
blogging, cartoons, graphics, photo journalism, all of this is part of the curriculum. But it has to be designed in such a way that the, the student is not bombarded with all of the tools in one go. Because they are post-12 students, freshly out of school, the university has been very, very sensitive about you know, not bombarding students with all of them in one go. Because if they are bombarded with that, then all of them in one go, then they, they wouldn't have clarity of thought. They wouldn't be able to decide which tool they want to take up as a career option or as a field of specialization for their masters. And as Deepak rightly said that, you know, I mean, you, by the second or the third year, you know, the student would decide as to which, uh, you know, the stream of uh, communication he or she wants to follow. So, to give the student that space and that time to decide, the course has been such, uh, designed in such a way that they would be introduced to each of these tools, but in a uh, 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 staggered at a phase. Can I say something else? Uh, and I really request you to not uh, put yourself on the grid of the syllabi. In your teacher, my brothers have been talking. For example, how many of you have heard of Rajiv Basal? How many of you know Rajiv Basal? How many of you know Manish Bhatt? They are brilliant people who keep on visiting. Deeper. You can call him six months down the line and he can have a one day interaction with the students. Can you imagine the value the kids are going to get? This is not even the syllabus. This is not mentioned in the syllabus. What he said that one interaction with the Philips chairman gave such a beautiful insight to the life. That is what we aspire for. Right now? Yes. That is what we aspire for. This is not your, I can't say that I'm going to call Manish Bhatt the creative head and the owner of Scarecrow Communication. He's one guy who is also afraid of today. But I can't put that in the syllabus. Get my point? So this whole syllabus is one thing is cyclosite. But there's another big element which we are working towards is trying to bring a lot of talent across the country who are Baroda based. When I say Manish Bhatt is Baroda based, people are Baroda based. We reach out to such friends of ours, uh, associates, come and talk to our students. Now, that is up to me as an individual. Look, I, I, I designed the syllabus of MS University. I am part of Board of Studies. But I am still saying that is one aspect only. The other aspect which is not given the syllabus, which, which I just, just now mentioned. So, you know, it's a very holistic kind of approach to the approach. And you, you might consider that also. Even as an independent career option. Well, uh, Tricky question because uh, documentary per se, uh, I would say that it requires a kind of dedicated uh, course involvement of filmmaking because uh, these are the basics probably which are taught in the communication course, in the journalism communication course. So that's the way of what is sort of the mass communication courses in Mumbai. that I hope the, the practical aspects of uh, professions being called over and office because I have contributed so much, it is so much more life in the course. And uh, if you talk about a documentary filmmaking, per se as a game, you have to go into the basics of the film language. Now, I wish um, what I saw in Monday, and I'm sure I won't be it here, is that they just rush through the theory part and the students are at the loss many senses as to how actually a film makes me. So filmmaking per se requires a kind of a dedicated time given and uh, probably you can do it through a course. You could also do it after the course, you could work with a filmmaker and I'm sure you catch up very fast because you have gone through all the theory part and a little bit of the practicals. But uh, filmmaking per se is a little different. It's a, it's a, it's a what do you call it, a sister of
really important. And that question you ask us, and it's our parents in their seated in the audience, it's that strength you give to that child, your, your son or your daughter. Okay, you want to do it. Because it's not just being an engineer or being a BSc. It's a lot to do with people. With society, you know, interacting on a day-to-day -day basis. It's about life, basically. Do you have that interest? Do you have that inclination for 
pursuing career in this field, if we feel it comes across, we shall say that we can take the mission. If not, we are advised that you may not be suited for this field. No, no, we take a personal interview. And it is taken at the candidate's comfort. Yes. So, I am going to Sidmas Pune, yes. right, for 126. In this time, they got an item of 115,000 students. Okay. So, we just wanted to know whether we, we also try to conduct the same kind of case for uh, candidates or not. No, we only call for personal interview. And as I said, the purpose of that is just to see whether you have that. And whether the candidate has the fire for journalists, then we do. Because many of the other things can be taught to the course, but the basic interest has to be Yes. In the same line, yes. uh, does the portfolio of some kind help during this kind Definitely. of Definitely. And what kind of a portfolio would you look for? Uh, there are a few candidates who had uh, come from interviews, so many of them have uh, photo documented various things around them. That may help us to understand that what kind of interest the person has. So, if the student has already got into either writing or uh, visual documentation, please come with a portfolio. That will help. Please, Dr. Nelly, there are three other people who are studying or are studying or are studying. Help, help. I will tell you. I will tell you. I want to uh, uh, tell uh, the name of the school you uh, brought it up. Uh, see this course, the book on communication is actually in the new message to the See, we are trying to groom journalists for this course. We are not trying to groom doctors or engineers. So, entrance test is really you know, very theoretical. I wonder, I guess, I can give you two things for students who have that passion. Thank you. 